What's going on y'all? Comedian Lana here bringing y'all another weekly vlog. What's on today's topic? Every 3.5 seconds, there's a nigga getting put in a friend zone. So you gotta ask yourself, are you in good hands? The dreadful words that no man ever wants to hear a woman say to him, ever. I think that we should just be friends. Oh, that's my friend. I'm not really feeling you like that. We should just be friends. I know this is a sensitive topic for all men. Let's have a moment of silence for all those in the friend zone. I know what y'all going through. I've been in the friend zone many of times, many of times, many of times, let me tell you. And I'll be the first one to tell you that being in the friend zone is not always a bad thing. If she puts you in the friend zone, it's nothing wrong with you. It's something wrong with that bitch. That bitch crazy. Fuck the bullshit. Let's just get right down to it. She's fucking crazy. She ain't got all her marbles. Something is off about her. If she puts you in a friend zone, she's saving you from a world of hurt, y'all. Trust me, I've been put in a friend zone. I knew this girl and we kind of had this weird chemistry, but she told me. She told me those dreadful words. We'll never be anything more than just friends. hurt I was hurt at first I'm not gonna lie when she said it I was just like why but then have you ever like met a pretty girl that just got ugly ass habits that's what you find out when you're in the friend zone you find out things that like oh shit I know why the fuck you single now who the fuck would want to date your crazy ass I see why you have all the problems you have because you're fucking crazy you're fucking loony what the fuck is wrong with you being in the friend zone is like being in the matrix either you can take the blue pill or you can take the red pill the blue pill, you just wake up and you just go on la di da to society. Now the red pill, if you take the red friend zone pill, you take it and you see just how deep the rabbit hole goes, just how crazy she might be, just how insecure she might be, or just all the problems that show why she's single or why you should not date her. Do you, do you want to see all those problems? Take the fucking red pill. But if you don't even want to deal with it all, take the blue pill. Just get on your fucking merry way. Trust me, y'all. She's saving you from something. There's something wrong with her ass. I'm so glad for some of the girls that put me in the friend zone. They saved me from ever having to date they crazy ass. I want you to walk up to whoever got you in the friend zone right now. And you tell her, thank you for putting me in the fucking friend zone. I want to thank your ass. Because you crazy as shit. There are some that go on and make it out of the friend zone. They jump over the little fence and they go on to live prosperous, healthy relationships. Those are called fucking legends. Not everybody's gonna be legendary, y'all. It's okay. And some just die and they wither away in the friend zone. Be fucking 60 years old in the goddamn friend zone. <laughs> I fucking refuse. I be damned if I'm 50 years old, still in a goddamn friend zone with any any girl. No, fuck out of here. But at the same time, this is how I feel about the friend zone. At my age, I feel like I'm too fucking old to be friends. Like, I just don't really be condoning friendship with women like that. Like, unless you're beneficial to me career-wise or monetary-wise or something like that, we don't need to be friends. We can just save ourselves the trouble. Because I don't want to hear about your bullshit-ass problems. I don't want to sit there and pretend like I give a fuck when I really don't. And I'm going to give you advice that I know you're not going to take. And you're going to keep doing the same dumb shit that you've been doing. So let's just save ourselves both the trouble and the hurt. Let's just not even be friends. You put the offer on the table to be friends, I slapped that bitch out and vetoed it. I declined your offer being friends. I'm good. I don't need no more fucking friends. I got associates. Maybe we'll talk every now and then. But we not about to have fucking sleepovers. You not about to sit here and cry on my fucking shoulder. And I'm going to act like I care. Or like the shit that you doing is okay. And tell you everything going to be okay. No. I'm not going to do that shit. But let me just tell y'all. One way. If you are going to be friends in the friend zone with a girl. She pays for everything. I'm not about to pay if I'm in the friend zone. She pays. If she want to go out to eat. She pays. If she want to go get some drinks, she pays. If she want to take you to the movie, it's on her. Fuck that shit. No, nah, I ain't about to sit here or we going Dutch. No, nah, I'm not about to sit here and pay my hard-earned fucking cash on you and I ain't even get no pussy. Bitch, bitch, what? Bitch, you got your goddamn mind. Ain't no friend zone, bitch. No, no, fuck that shit. Thanks for watching this video, y'all. Comment down below. Hit the like button. Share this video. If you agree with me or if you don't agree with me. Y'all see it, nigga, with this fresh ass cut, though, right, nigga? I just got out the shot with this bitch right here, nigga. This shit. Oh, oh, this shit clean, right? 
That nigga lined me up fantastically, my nigga. Okay, appreciate y'all.